hello everyone welcome once again to my channel if you have not yet subscribed to my channel i like you to hit the subscribe button so that you get notifications anytime i upload a new video today we are going to be looking at um, the calendly software okay and um, the calendly software like we know is a very important software and very useful in terms of um, scheduling okay so the calendly software is a scheduling automation platform that makes it easy to schedule meetings and appointments without any back and forth you know you can use the calendly software um, to schedule google meetings you can use it to um, manage your booking systems and also appointments um, you can also use the calendly um, software to um, to create online bookings and scheduling system and also for team bookings and also group integration so you can see it's very very vital okay to organizations and even to individuals so we are going to uh, um, actually base our discussion today on setting up a calendly account okay so once you get to the calendly page calendly.com just type in calendly.com okay then this is the page this is the calendly page so what you do you go ahead and get started okay you click on get started okay so you be required to either um, sign up or you can sign up with your google mail google, uh, gmail or with microsoft so i have a gmail so i'm going to sign up with my gmail Okay, so we are here so we go ahead and do our account settings so we click on this arrow here profile click on profile this is name so i can actually i can actually um go ahead and edit this to probably my company name okay so i can put this as my my probably um my name here a welcome message okay so i can edit this to have a, a welcome message to, um, this is basically what we set up here. This is English date format. You can see this is the date format, day, month, and year. Time format 24 hours. You can change it if you want to 12 hours, 8 p.m. Okay, you can change this if you want. Then you can have um, the country, the country region. Then okay, so we can also have this. Then we go ahead and you know we save the changes. Okay, so we save changes once we are done. So this is basically what we do, or uh, what we do over there. And after that, we, we, we save, we save the changes. Then you can see this is branding. We click, click on um, branding. Okay. Then you can see logo. Your company branding will appear at the top left corner of the scheduling page. So apply all to use. So we can have a logo here. By applying the image that we need to use as um, the logo. Okay, and then after that we, <coughs> we we save the change in cookie setting um calendly synchronization. On this calendly synchronization, it's here. We can also get it from this place. We click here, we can also get it here. Um calendly synchronization. So we just click on it. So we can actually synchronize our calendly with the other um other calendars okay so like this is this is google so you can add add calendar and um, calendar account account as possible 
as you see this is google calendar uh, this is outlook calendar this is exchange google outlook exchange icloud so you can actually synchronize uh, more calendars okay to um to uh to our calendar okay so this is this is the way to do that and synchronize okay so that's that's the option for um, calendar synchronization okay so after this what we do we then go back to home so we are done with setup after setup what we do we, we we return back to home so now from here we can um, actually go ahead to do um, like creating so you know here you know in this particular um, platform here we have the scheduled events we have the workflow we have the routing and we have the analytics okay so scheduled events here if we have any scheduled events this is where we get it from we we'll click on it and we we'll get any scheduled events will be listed here for us to actually see so you can see here there's no scheduled events so we don't have any any events okay so then we have the workflows okay so this is his work workflows you can see automate all the work you do around events such as text message messages when events are booked email reminders before events and more and more you can start with a common used workflow or create your own so you can create a workflow okay probably a reminder so like email reminder probably you have a meeting somewhere and you want a reminder or you have um, a program you have a location you have a meeting you, know, you can set up a reminder and when the time comes you get a reminder before the time based on based on your setting or oh, this is basically automations automation okay so um this is this is this is about the workflows we have then um yeah email reminder email reminder to, to host send thank you email okay so you can automate all this you can automate all this on on um on on calendly okay so you can send you can just set a thank you email and set a date when such date comes the the email gets sent to the to the to the, um, to the person either, either a customer or you know so you get sent to the person so like you get you know in the in the banks you know what in the banks sometimes you see a bank sending you a birthday message so they can automate the message they, they what they do they, they automate the messages on the system so if, once you automate it on the system um when the date at that particular date the message will be sent automatically to your email and you get, a, you get an email you get, you get an email or a text message um wishing you a, a, a happy birthday you understand so now now that's workflow now um the routing so this is routing okay so here we have qualify route and schedule meetings instantly okay so new routing form so we could actually um, schedule say gather information from website visitors and direct direct them to a specific booking page based on their responses okay create or import a form to set up questions set up logic to send invitees to booking page and more so this is for routing okay so then we have analytics what has been completed what has been done what is yet to be done so you see canceled events rescheduled events completed events created events so you see everything is just like a summary of everything you have set up on your calendar Okay, so it's it's a very very wonderful software and i recommend it for, for every business it's actually a very wonderful um, software so i think this is where we we'll end this video and in the next video we are going to be looking at creating you know um we're going to, we're going to, we're going to go ahead to to create um to create events okay we're going to create events from the next video so just um, ensure that you understand the processes of setting up your account and and what um, each of um, these uh, items are for and then try to understand the basic interface and what um, we have embedded here at this first instance so um, in the next video we'll look at um, creating events so I hope this is helpful thanks for watching